pan nice and hot because I want to cook the potatoes and I literally have to cook them. As if you keep frying them, frying them, you know, and give it a nice colour. So cut them into small cubes. Then I make sure that the pan is hot, otherwise when you put the potatoes in, it will stick to the bottom of the pan. So I want the, the, the oil to start to smoke. So you want to start giving them a nice color. So I've got a, a quarter of a brown onion because it was quite big. And that is to be finely chopped. So you have your onion. You have your fennel in there. I've got my garlic. So make sure that it's nice and fresh. And if you can get local garlic, it's always better. And at the moment, actually, there is some around. I haven't got it today, but there is some fresh garlic, or what we call green garlic. You can use that as well. So it's quite nice. And the garlic, I don't like to chop it up too much. I just slice it. Really, really fine. I leave it in the paper so they take all the oil. The paper takes all the oil. I'm just going to turn this down because all the onions, onion, celery and garlic, I need it to cook a little bit slower otherwise they burn. Literally in the same pan, without even rinsing it or anything. Let's go. And if it's drying up, and you may add a little bit of olive oil. I just want to cook on a low heat. Make sure that the onions get nice and soft in the fennel without burning them too much on the outside. In the meantime, what I do, I get the quails and I'll check the inside of it. Now they tunnel bone. When, they tun when the quails are tunnel bone, that means that sometimes they have a little bit of bone inside of the cavity. So I make sure that with my finger I feel it. And make sure that there is no bone inside because otherwise when you eat it, it's not good. And There you go, you need a bit of bone in there. Trim the wings, just leave the top part of it, like this. I want this to be nice and caramelized. Maybe another one or two minutes. Okay, so the pies are ready. Now the onions are ready as well, so I'm just going to put this on the side. So I'm just wiping that. And I want to keep it nice and hot and keep some of the oils. So back on there because now I'll do the chicken livers. So I may give it a bit more heat. A bit of oil in there. Chicken livers, you can see they're nice and fresh. Don't do anything to it. Don't even clean them, don't do nothing. Just as they come, just in the pan, just to give it a nice color on the outside. I still keep them nice and juicy on this side, so I let them sit on there and then I turn them without stirring them too much. So you just check it like that, okay? See that nice color in there? This is what you want. So the pan is to be nice and hot, that's why I use the same pan to keep it, so when you put it on, it can be nice and juicy. So I've got that, I've got that. So now, I'm going to start mixing up all these ingredients, so I've got the potatoes, the onions and the celery and garlic. Got some lemon which is got really well with livers. So this look at the color of the livers, beautiful. Nice and crispy on the outside and juicy on the side here. I've got a little bit of chili flakes, just a pinch in there, not too much because it's quite powerful. Then I've got some tarragon. Tarragon is quite powerful, so not a lot of that. So the livers are pretty much done. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt to season them in there. And they're pretty much ready, so I'm just going to rest them for a minute. And I'll chop them up and mix them with the potato. The, um, then I need an egg. And I'll just combine them, because the egg then keeps all that. Filling together. Uh, make sure that I've got everything. Yes, I've got salt. I've got a little bit of parsley. And now what I'll do, I may just roughly chop it with the tarragon, the chicken livers. Just roughly. 
to chop them up as well. And that goes into the mix. Give it a good mix. So this is pretty much your stuffing for your quails. Nice. The pink inside, but they've got a nice brown, you know, on the outside to give it flavor because when you're grinding chicken livers like me, you're grinding it not to keep all the juices in, but to give it a nice flavor because that's what it does when you're grinding something. It's like making a crust of bread and you put it on the, on the chat wheel because you want to give flavor to the bread. I put a little bit more salt. And the salt and no pepper because I've got the chili flakes and chili and pepper don't go really well together so just one and the other. So that's pretty much everything in there. The lemon is nice, there's a little bit of a bit of a kick, you know, the lemon taste. And you wanna make it full but just enough there because if you put too much, what happens is the chicken livers and the potatoes tend to expand a little bit inside the fire and then you know, the yeah. stuff just comes out. So just enough in there so they come out nice and puffy but not too much otherwise you don't start coming out. You really push it. Just to keep the legs together. Just to keep the legs together. So the legs are tight like that. And then I've got some pancetta here which you may think pork together. Now it doesn't pancetta is so that the breast is nice and moist, it wraps around, but also the saltiness of the pancetta penetrates into the meat and gives it a really distinct, really nice flavor. What unusual for so chicken and pork together, but it's, this is a good combination. Pack it around the chicken like this. And what happens is while the, the quail is roasting, the pancetta will just you know, crisp up and wraps around it. I think that's about it. A bit of oil. And then I'm going to glaze this with a little bit of honey. Okay, which is nice. And there are nice. Okay, in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and then when they come out they will be nice and cold and brown. So, that's, so you can see nice, you know, the nice golden color given also by the honey. Okay. And you can serve a little bit of beans, you can serve a salad. Um, I wouldn't suggest potato because there's potato inside so becomes, this becomes too heavy, you know. But definitely some nice vegetables, some broccoli, it's nice as well. Some spinach, some chicory, something like that. But beans are nice. And also, you know, they don't have to be hot, but just even a bean salad with some fresh meat, garlic and olive oil. Maybe a little bit of lemon. Then if you got some of the nice cooking juices in there, which is sometimes what it makes a dish, you just juice a little bit on the top like this. So we have all the juices from the quail, the honey, all together in there. And you know, instead of having a gravy or something, which doesn't work with that, just some tangles. 